Hey okay, students, in this group we're going to be going over an example on um, derivatives. Uh, we're going to be reviewing the whole process of uh, using the differentiation rules to, to find a derivative, okay? So for problem number one, the instructions are to find, find y prime where uh, y is equal to the arc sine of log base 3 of 2x plus 1 and that uh, that divided by divided by uh, cosecant cosecant uh, 2 raised to the x square power all right so we're going to find the derivative of this okay so if we take a look at this you notice that we have the quotient of two functions so we're going to have to use the um, quotient rule here, okay? So the function in the numerator, we're going to call that our u, and then the uh, function in the denominator, we're going to call that our v. All right, so just a real quick review of the quotient rule. Quotient rule tells us that u over v prime is equal to v u prime minus u v prime over v square, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to find u prime and v prime individually and then we're going to plug in um, the answers into the into the result okay so one of the stipulations for this problem is no need to simplify okay do not simplify let's put that there okay so keep that in mind now um so let's start with the numerator let's find out what u prime is so task number one is to find find u prime okay all right, so let's see. Um, u is a numerator function, which is the inverse sine or the arc sine. Let's try that again. Is the arc sine of log base 3 of 2x plus 1. Okay? So we have a composition of three functions here. You have the inverse sine, which is a trig function log base 2, which is a logarithmic function, and a linear function here. Since we have three functions, we're going to have to use the chain rule twice. Okay? All right, so let's uh, go over the formulas that we're going to use to find the derivative of u, the numerator function, and then we're going to apply it to uh, computing the derivative. Okay? All right, so the formulas that we're going to use, formulas, um, Let's start from the outermost one, which is the arc sine function. Okay, so we're going to find, so ddx of inverse sine. We're going to use inverse sine of u because we're going to be using the channel here since the argument of the arc sine function is a function. Okay, so ddx of inverse sine of u is going to be the derivative of the arc sine is 1 over the square root of 1 minus u square. Okay. Since we're using the chain rule, we're going to append at du dx. So that's the first um, the differentiation we're going to do. And then next, we're going to shift our attention to log base 3 function. All right. What is d dx of log base 3 of, we're going to use u again here because the argument of this logarithm is a function. So we're going to be using the chain rule when differentiating log base 3 of 2x plus 1. Okay. So that's why we're using a u here. So this is going to be 1. The formula is 1 over u times the natural logarithm of the base. In this case, it's 3. du dx, because we're using the chain rule. All right? Now, after doing the first and the second function, we are left with the innermost function, d dx of 2x plus 1. We don't need a chain rule here. The derivative of 2x plus 1 is simply 2. When we use the sum uh, rule and then uh, do the power rule to 2x, all right? So they have it. Now let's apply these uh, formulas that we have to differentiating this function. Okay, we're looking for u prime. All right, so um, u prime is going to be uh, starting from the, the derivative of the arc sine, holding this entire thing fixed, is 1 over square root of um, 1 minus u square. So we have 1 divided by uh the square root of 1 minus u square so when we're differentiating the outermost function 
u is the argument of the arc sine, which is log base 3 of 2x plus 1. So it's going to be um, 1 minus log base 3 of 2x plus 1 plus that square. Okay, so that's 1 over the square root of 1 minus u square, where this is u. Okay, now we're done with the outermost function times. Now we're going to shift our attention to the logarithmic piece. It's going to be 1 over u ln 3, where u is 2x plus 1. Okay, so that's going to be 1 divided by u. u is a, a function that the logarithmic function is composed with, so it's going to be 2x plus 1. So 1 over 2x plus 1, that is the u in the 1 over u, and then the, times the natural logarithm of the base, ln3. Now times the innermost function, which is the innermost function is 2. The derivative, I'm sorry, of the innermost function is 2. Okay, and then when you want to write all this nicely, u prime is going to be 2, multiplying all the numerators, divided by... Uh, let's put the constant first, the natural logarithm of 3 times 2x plus 1 times the square root of um, 1, 1 minus log base 3 of 2x plus 1 quantity squared. Okay? So this is u prime that we're going to be inserting into the quotient rule as soon as we're done finding what our v prime is. Okay, so we have u prime, one piece is down. Now we're going to shift our attention to finding v prime. So now we're going to find v prime. Okay, all right, so what on earth is v? v is a denominator function. So from the original problem, we know that v is cosecant. 2 raised to the x square power. All right. This is a composition of three functions. The outermost function is cosecant, the trig function. We have an exponential function, 2 raised to the x square. And then the innermost function is a quadratic or power function. Okay. All right. So let's go over the formulas that we're going to use to find the derivative of this function. So formulas. Formulas. All right, so um, the first one we're going to use is the derivative of cosecant. Okay, so we're going to compute. So the formula is ddx of cosecant. Now, since the argument of cosecant is a function, we're going to use u since we're going to be using the chain rule here. All right, so the derivative of cosecant is cosecant u. I'm sorry, negative cosecant u, cosine u, cotangent u. Negative cosecant u, cotangent u. And then using the chain rule, du dx. All right? Okay, so that's the first uh, formula we're going to use to differentiate uh, cosecant. Now we're going to shift our attention to the exponential function, d dx of 2 raised to the u. Okay? Because you notice the power of this exponential function is a function itself. All right, so that's going to become um, the derivative of 2 to the u is going to be uh, 2 to the u, the original exponential function, times the natural logarithm of the base, which is 2. And since we're using the chain rule, we append du dx. All right. Now, uh, the innermost function is a um, quadratic or, polynomial, uh, or a uh, quadratic function. So we're just going to differentiate it straight up, ddx of x squared. You don't need a chain rule here, okay, because it's not a composite function. So ddx of x squared is simply 2x. So these are the formulas we're going to be using to find, to find v prime, all right? So let's go ahead and find what v prime is. So v prime is going to be, starting from the outermost, if you differentiate cosecant u, it's going to be negative cosecant u, cotangent u, but u is 2x, 2 raised to the x squared, okay? So it's going to be negative cosecant u, which is 2 raised to the x squared, cotangent u, which is cotangent of 2 raised to the x squared, 
All right, now that's the outermost function we just differentiated. du dx implies the chain rule. Now we're going to differentiate the exponential function. All right, so that we already determined is 2 to u ln u, so it's going to be 2 to the u. u of the exponential function is this function right here, x squared. So it's going to be 2 to the x squared times um, the natural logarithm of the base, which is 2. All right, the u dx, since we're using the chain rule, uh, the innermost function is x squared. The derivative of that is 2x. Okay, so this is basically what um, v prime is. All right, so let's uh, write it nicely. So the, um, this one can be written as this is equal to, <clears throat> let's write down the constants first, uh, 2, negative 2, um, negative 2 ln 2 times x the parenthesis here, so negative 2 ln 2x, um, and then the trig functions, cosecant 2, cosecant 2 raised to the x square, <clears throat> cosecant 2 raised to the x square, cotangent 2 raised to the x square, times 2 raised to the x square. All right, so that's um, v prime. Okay, now we're going to put everything together into the quotient rule. So let's rewrite the quotient rule again. u over v prime is equal to uh, v u prime minus u v prime over v square. All right, so our solution, y prime, we're just going to plug in, plug in the answers that we have, all right? We don't have to simplify. So uh, we're going to put in v first. So v, we know what v is. v is the uh, denominator function, cosecant 2x squared. So let's write that down. So v is um, cosecant uh, 2 raised to the x squared. So v and then u prime. u prime is the first answer we got when we differentiated the composite function, this entire thing right here. So we just have a 2 in the numerator. So um, times 2 divided by the denominator of uh, what we got when we had u prime, which was um, the natural logarithm of 3 times 2x plus 1 times the square root of um, square root of 1 minus 1 minus um, log base 3 of 2x plus 1, that entire thing raised to the second power. All right? So this is uh, v u prime together minus u. u is the numerator function. This is u right here, the numerator. We already indicated that as u. And then we'll multiply that by v prime. So minus u. u is the arc sine the arc sine of log base 3 of 2x plus 1. All right. And then times v prime, which is this result we have right here. We have a 2 ln 2. So see this minus? I can multiply by this minus to make that a plus. So, um, uh, so we have that plus, and then we have 2. Uh, times the natural logarithm of 2 times x times cosecant 2 raised to the x square cotangent 2 raised to the x square. All right, I just shifted it to the left a little bit to create more room. All right, and then times, uh, times 2x square times 2, actually 2 raised to the x square. All right, so this is uh, u times v prime. Okay, v prime is what we got here. This minus changed this minus here to a plus. All right. Okay, so that's a uh, uv prime. Uh, uv prime, and then the whole thing divided by um, v square. Okay, we know that v is cosecant uh, two raised to the x square. So if we square it out, we're going to have cosecant square of 2 raised to the x squared. And this is your answer for, uh, for y, y prime.
All right, so let's let's go ahead and box that. The final result's pretty long, but yeah, so that's we have to do it. Okay, so so that's that. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. You can feel free to subscribe to my channel so you can get updates to other cool uh, calculus clips such as this. Please post a comment to let me know what you think about this presentation. And do click like if you liked it and feel free to share it with your friends. More clips can be found on myglosserve.com slash calculus or just scan this QR code for direct access to other cool tutorials. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day.